And finally, how does this create a contrasting atmosphere to another point in the extract or the wider play? So, uh, for example, if you decided to have some soft classical music in a major key playing in the opening scene, would that then contrast with later in the play, maybe the same song is played in a minor key to show that things aren't as happy as they were at the beginning? Uh, so for the top band answers, you want to be creating a contrast there. This contrast only needs to be written in one sentence. Don't spend paragraphs and paragraphs talking about the contrast, but just a sentence to describe how that sound design choice for that extract would contrast with a moment later in the play. So again, we're going back to our example extract. We're pausing this video and we're making notes on um, how the sounds that we've chosen would be created. So are there particular in instruments or objects uh, like a Foley artist would use to create these sounds? Is the sound live? Is it happening backstage or has it been pre-recorded? Uh, where are the speakers positioned to uh, project these sounds through? So are they coming from under the audience's seats, from behind the audience? Are they coming down from above the auditorium? Are they off stage left in the wings or stage right in the wings? Where are the speakers positioned? Where is this sound coming from? What effect does that have on the audience? And finally, a compare and contrast sentence. How would that moment, that sound design, compare and contrast with another moment in a different scene in the play? And what would that contrast tell the audience about the symbolism within the play? Um, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about sound design, go back to the revision materials, contact myself or Miss Thomas, and best of luck.